Oh, it's like Ember. Here we're thinking on top of the Zeus. Do you yeah, like this as a lane matchup, Gunner? Yeah, the lane matchup's okay. It's actually kind of hard. He breaks through your flame guard really quickly. Seb, though, with a hero that we haven't seen a whole lot played in this position too much. Uh, nature's Prophet in the off lane. This hero comes with its own set of problems. I think the reason why they pick it is for that global presence with the Zeus. Get the kill on No Tail. But when OG's introduction came out on stage, they were extremely quiet. They wanted OG to know in this matchup, we're not favoring you at all. We are backing our boys, LGD. Yeah, no booze, but you know, they're going to show their hometown team love. Zep going in for the dive, Ex Nova. And he's surrounded away. right now. The Treant is going to reveal him the whole entire way, and Seb's going to try and get in position with the trees. He'll just finish him off with a little Treant, and that's going to be good enough. Meanwhile, Ame actually coming in through the side here does pick up Jerex, and he's going to try and uh, challenge some of that CS that's floating into the tower. And on top of that, it just lanes well. We're certainly seeing that with uh, Ame falling below Ana's faces. Boy, because the CS mid lane, they can drop the ball. Mid lane OG tops. And they'll find that Observer Ward that spotted out FY earlier. So, really good read by him. He understood that his rotations were spotted. Finds a different angle to get it. Correct. Now, it's on top. Jarek's going to be gone on his range off. It's gone. So, he's going to be slowing for a by Ame. Next Nova. Can he stay ahead of the Furion? He will. And now, Seb does not have a teleport. So, he knows he kind of has to battle Ame back here. But, oh, it comes out, that'll be enough to finish off X Nova, and the Flame Guard will wear out for Ame as well. They might be able to actually finish off this Tier 1 tower, otherwise it's going to be a slow push. X Nova. He knows that Thompson, Thompson, is Thompson. Here. They know they smoke, they've got to get out of here. Oh, he actually used the Magic Theater on himself, but there goes FY. X Nova thought he was going to be the target, now Jerex looks to be able to pick up the bounty route in front of him, and body block X Nova as well with the Orb of Venom, makes it very easy for Thompson to help get that kill. And look at this, this is the ward that I was talking about that yeah. you were trying to protect. Protect the jungle against OG. Don't let them get in here for free. That's why X Nova is kind of positioned to be able to break smoke. Oh, he was there to break the smoke but and he might still get cut out. More, and now Derek's gonna try and take some of this. Yes, they're gonna turn and try and kill Jerex, but there goes the Chronosphere. Oh, perfectly timed with the Air Splitter. This is just a beauty of a team fight for OG. And picking this off on Ame as well, the Rolling Thunder. Nails him and tops the finish mob Lightning as well. OG just perfectly execute that fight and LGD fall apart. I, I think it's because his lane was going so well. Yeah. Uh, and he's going to hard counter up the Ember Spirit as a result. Yeah, Ami is going to be super unhappy with this timing, that's for sure. FY in trouble, gets hit by the Rolling Thunder, bounce back by Jerex. Swashbuckle to finish him off, nice and easy. But at the same time, No Tail is going to be chased down. They are going to be able here. to get the Orchid out onto the Dryercops. Drums goes out, they want to make sure that everyone's safe here. X Nova is always there with the Dispel as well. But in this game right now, OG is not really respecting the threat of the Ravage. Do you agree with that? 85 to 15, is this game that one-sided to OG's favor? Uh, no. And it starts here as Topson. They're going to they be able to find tops in here with the pipe as well. They're made super tanky. And a kill streak on him as well. That's going to mean a lot for PSG LGD and the two heroes that collect that experience and that bounty. But bottom lane, OG, he's beginning to round some of these heroes. Anna looking to chase him down. FY turns around for the Hex, but that's just enough. Oh, it's not doesn't it? Even though the Hex is there, there's no damage, there's no stunts. Now Ame, who's just mid lane, is now bottom. Looking for an opening. He's invis right now. They're all taking away here. inside the trees. Can they find anybody who's going to go for the blind slight fist? They're pinging right now on the ground. Anna. I think he knows finally, something's he up. He knows no tails here. Anna. I think he realized he's just had to leave behind. The Ravage is instantly going up. They have managed to finish off no tail, yes, but there's no way they can go for Anna now. You're right. They wanted to be able to use that Ravage. They only use it to be able to kill a five position. And now they're going to trade out X Nova as he gets found expertly by Jarex. And you notice uh, right here, Ame, he's playing away from his team. This is the correct move. Yep. Always play away from your team because you have the ability to gap close and come in to help them out. It's going to get gone on at bottom for the time being. Silenced up, but... He's ready to try and finish off Seb. You use the BKB as soon as he thinks he's got Seb dead. And Seb's going to try and go for the TV, but it's going to come up. And that was a thousand bolts for Ame. PSG LGD, they're going to be spotted. Thunder God's Wrath, just as we were talking about. That mid lane push, pushing Chalice back, pushing the wave in, makes that obvious. 
they read exactly where PSG LGD is put. LGD still gonna go for it. His challenge gonna wrap around with FY behind the tier one tower. They're gonna jump for it. Catching no tail. The Rolling Thunder is out from Jerex already. He's gonna hit FY as well as the Thunder God's Wrath and stuff. And they're gonna be able to bring down one support at least. Chalice left in an awkward position here, but maybe focusing on that objective. And OG, a little bit skittish about taking the fight. They've got 15 seconds left of the Chronosphere, and that's why Ami immediately gonna jump into the side ground, hoping to be able to help X Nova out. He's gonna use the ultimate there. Goes Catch Alana. They only manage to finish up Jerex. They're gonna jump over the shrine where Thompson is sitting all by himself. No, the buyback coming in. Jerex, he's gonna try and help out for Thompson here. Youth up there onto himself. The Jar Club is trying to stay away from Anna and all that physical damage. The back. Back. just came out. The Rock and Rock isn't enough to finish up Anna. And Anna will finish off the gyro in turn. Ame, he does have a lot of damage though with that Radiance. Can they chase down Anna? Seb is still strong. Chains. He's dead. Gonna go for the two supports here. He's got Seb as well as Jerex. The team. And that was the buyback from Jerex. Fantastic fight from PSG LGD. Normally you get one you get one moment where you can trick somebody and they forget about how they can die. Yeah. And that was a top lane. But maybe they can do it again. Ame, if he's gonna stick around for the next creep wave, he could That's just die here. 2500 HP. Can he actually live through with all this? They're gonna be able to help out with the Nimbus as well as York and go oh, with the Manta man. Anna just cleaned him up so quick. Go Roche, go Roche, go Roche. Is this the opportunity for OG that they needed to claim the Aegis? Seb, likely to take this tower. At least the Sea Dragons, they'll get him denied. A solar crest. They finish off the Nimbus, that's another 100 gold. Maybe he's committed for this. FY's coming back right now. Stop. Oh, that 40 movement speed coming in just at the right time. Ame sees the opportunity to be able to jump in the back line. He's top time. FY's been stunned up on the Anna. Now maybe he's going to be able to get around, but Thompson being hunted down the ramp. He's going down the blink. He got the guess why. He gets out with the shrine activated. FY might just be able to live. Jerry's getting a little stuck on the cliff, but it looks like FY does manage to live. Ame jumping back into this one. Will manage to fly no tail here. That's one support down. Five for five. Now LGD trying to go back into their own home. He does have buyback Are and chrono buy He's got to commit to it right now if he is going to do it. He does have a TP scroll up. He's going to commit now with a stomp, landing on a three. Can maybe finish this one up. Solo. He's going to be able to jump in, throw his spear out. Forfeited here as he's going to be chased down by Ame. Pops the BKB, tries to go for the Sprout TP away, and he's fine actually. Impressive play by OG to be able to bail out Anna and still get out. And that'll allow OG to be able to get three out of the four, even against an Aegis. It goes to show, like, uh, PSG LGD are still going to be a little bit timid about taking fights against OG. Especially as they're split around the map. The Rolling Thunder going off. Does manage to knock up X Nova with that Y being finished off as well. Two different kills like this would be massive. They do have Ame coming in, but immediately the BKB from Seb. They know two pick offs on the supports as long as nobody dies here. They're going to do a long jump in from the Agony Scepter Spirit to be able to chase down No Tail, but No Tail managed to get off the stomp onto Ame. Ame finished him off with the double damage, especially with Chalice and, and Maybe joining him in the mid lane. Look at Maybe's build, by the way. He's decided to go for the Basher because he's so tired of this. He knows they need some way to punish that. With the Mule, their attack speed as well. He's just going to be focusing on all of the bottom lane. various procs. They are going to be able to get the Aegis to, to pop here and takes away the regen while Ami being gone up. They do have the Chronosphere. It's Seth going to be able to get enough damage, damage for this. Just, oh, it just overwhelms Ame very quickly. He still, and I'm not sure if he ever will, be tanky enough to live through that Chronosphere unless he's got the Aeon disc. And he didn't have a Remnant far back enough. I think he was relying on the speed to try to outplay. Got a little bit lazy there. Yolner, almost complete for Somnus. Got the 20 strength for the Pangolier. Pop the link, it's managed to get the Hanks follow up. They're just gonna try and jump out. Two minutes now off of the buyback around Roshan and LGD know about that. Yeah, there was no one near him. Anna just decided to step forward. 
And now Seven's gonna do everything he can to try and force the attention to the side lanes rather than that mid lane where PSG LGD is barreling down. But that's where Ame comes into play. May not have that A on disc, but he's gonna play like he does have it. Jerex gonna rolling in with this Glimmer Cape, the Invis Ball. Not really doing a whole lot, especially since they have the vision down. They're gonna do a decent amount of thought that's been there. Yeah. Somnus can now turn all of his attention into the Tier 3's 80 seconds left. Uh, Anna's revival here. And PSG LG, they're going to have to poke him down to make sure they don't get caught by the run. It's going to be hit on three. They're going to chase down Jerry to the back line. It's the more they finish off seven. Bash that is going to be good enough. And Anna, he will pay big time for his death in mid lane as his team scrambles time and time again to be able to push down PSG LGD. They save the rocks here, it looks like. Left. The Nothing initiation. Side of OG, they're going to be able to find the initiation. Once again, on the top of Thompson, they have no save mechanism. Now he's dead for two minutes. And PSG LGD, what's the point of being here? Let's hit the tier four to go throw. 40 seconds still for this faceless void. And a says to his team, my bad. bad. And it was indeed his bad. It's that one little mistake from him may just cost him the game. Death. Trying to draw some attention away from the tier fours, away from the throw, but Jerry's can do little to stop his death. No tails now here, 15 seconds, but the throw being just poked away by Somnus. He's doing so much damage, 2,000 HP, 10 seconds left to the boy, 1,500, that's it, game one is all PSG LGD. Such a tense game, and that one lacks in judgment. Yep. This is what is going to determine the victory between these two teams who were so evenly matched for 40 minutes. One slip up in Roche, one slip up in the mid lane, and PSG LGD will take game one. You can totally tell that they've done their homework. This has been a great start to this series. I hope we go for the full series just like we've had in every single TI pass between LGD and OG.